Hey, good morning, everyone. Look at this awesome view right here. Let me stop so the camera's not shaky. Isn't that gorgeous? Y'all, I have the 24-foot bay boat launched right there, ready to go offshore. And I'm happy for y'all to join me. So I like to keep these intros short, sweet, to the point. This is Steven with Bama Saltwater Fishing. Go and try to catch dinner today. That tide is pouring out of here. It makes it so difficult to dock. Heck yeah, y'all. We're going to head right under the Perdido Pass Bridge out of the pass and about give or take eight to nine miles and do some fishing try to get us dinner see you later orange beach we will be back heck yeah look at the fog that is neat around the condos how cool is that that is absolutely gorgeous wow it is Really difficult to get much prettier than God's natural artwork, I tell you that. So we just made it eight miles offshore. Not too crazy. There is some swells today, but generally the Gulf is pretty calm. At least they're spread out. Now I'm gonna be trolling some planers and drone spoons this morning along a whole line of artificial reefs. There's all public reefs. You can find them online and on your fish finder. I'll be pulling these planers on a Shimano Speedmaster 12 with some 40 pound mono and braid backing on a six and a half foot 30 pound line rating rod and i have a ball bearing snap swivel they are expensive but they're well worth it when pulling spoons so you prevent as much line twist as you can to a number two planer another ball bearing snap swivel and i'm not running a giant leader this is 50 pound leader and it's about eight feet of it and this is a gator king spoon in the 350 size blue and silver these have been around forever. They've caught a lot of fish. There's different brands. I like the Gator ones because they're made in the USA. The other one I'll be pulling the same exact setup, except this one's a little bit smaller King Spoon. This one's a 200 and a Sky Blue. So let's go ahead and get oriented the direction we want to troll and we'll get these planers out. So make sure nothing's tangled up and this planer is going to dive down. Give or take 20 feet with a size 2 planer, depending on your speed, the current, etc., and what you're pulling. But put that size 2 planer out with that Gator King spoon, turn on the clicker. I'm letting the big one be a little bit further out. The smaller one's going to be a little bit closer. You want to have them staggered. The last thing you want to do is have a big tangle. We'll pull these about 3 to 5 miles an hour and see if we can hook into something. What a pretty morning. Y'all, this planer just got hit. Oh yeah. We have a fish on already this morning. Let's see what you're gonna be. Is it gonna be some dinner? Yes. Spanish Mac. Whip that sucker in. We got a Spanish mackerel for dinner. Heck yeah. Fresh Spanish dip or Spanish ceviche. That's gonna be good. You're allowed 15 of these in Alabama and there's no minimum size limits. So we'll unhook that spoon out from them and get that lure back out. So we hit the small spoon. I'm just letting it back out again. Boom, so we're set. Good old Spanish mac, look at that. Good eating right there. And what you can do to bleed them out, pulling that bottom part of the gill and they're gonna bleed out nice and you'll have a good fillet. We have something pulling drag good now. Yeah, that's a good one. Wonder what that's gonna be. It is heavy. Yo, this is awesome. What do you think we have? Be cool if we have a big old king. Heck yeah. You know it's good when it pulls drag on a planer rod. All right, going to get it in. Got the top part of my leader. Let's see what you're going to be. Is it something we can gaff? I hope so, y'all. This is exciting. Very simple type of fishing, but extremely effective. All right, get you in. We see some color. 
got a little toonie on the planer. We'll keep you if we can get you up. Oh, they're fun fighters. Real fun. Come here, you. That's a good size one, too. Oh, yeah. Cool. We're going to bleed him out and keep him as well. Heck, yeah. These are colloquially called Bobos or Bonita, but they're actually not a Bonito. They're a false albacore. Oh. We're going to bleed him out, throw him on ice. They make good bait. They, they are edible. We may do a catch and cook on one, depending on what we get today. Sweet. So the little 200 spoon is really the most versatile size. I mean, it catches everything. It is going to go get back out. Oh, there's Bonita all over the place over there. And we're back trolling again. Oh yeah, there's Bonita. Oh, oh. Dang. Oh. This one's a big one, the 350. Oh man, heavy fish. <laughs> we hadn't got hit on the 350 this morning for the three and a half inch. Be cool if it was a king. As soon as I was talking good about the 200 the, and pointing at that big school, this one just got smacked. Man, this is fun, y'all. Hope you're all having fun and taking something away from this video. Let's come out here with some spoons and planers. And you can really wreak havoc on some fish. All right. Oh, that's a pretty, oh, that's a king. That's a pretty king too. Yes. Oh, we got eight. Oh my goodness, what just ate the back of them? Shark? Oh, yeah, I think a big shark did. Oh man, we still have enough meat on there though. Oh, Barracuda! Barracuda! Yeah, I'll leave my king alone, you cuda. That's what just ate it. That come. That's a nice king too. Well, we still have some meat on this king to make it worthwhile. He just got smacked by that big barracuda. Dad, come, dude. I'm sorry, buddy. That would have been a nice king too. Look at the size of him. But we still have plenty of meat. We got this front half, and this is on 50 pound mono, which you control these spoons just fine. On on mono because there's a lot of metal in between the hook and the leader but that is a nice king darn too bad the cuda ate him but we still have some good meat so i'm gonna and he's already bleeding out so that saves me the trouble and that counts towards our three king limit per person dang <laughs> how the bloody joker i tell you that i didn't want to lose my spoon to that barracuda they're mean. We're good to go. There's not one bite mark on that leader or any chafing. And this is a short leader. A lot of people say go to a 30 foot leader, but that's a lot to manage. I've pulled planers with long leaders, but it, like I said, it's a lot to handle. So we have both those lures back out. Oh, they both just tripped. Oh my goodness. We're doubled up. I'm bring this one in first. Okay, this one's empty. It came off. So pull you in. Yeah, it is. Still on. All righty. See how both spoons work? And on a sunny day like this, it's hard to go wrong with silver and blue. But everyone has their own preference. But I think the most important thing is the fish actually be willing to bite and you're where they are. Oh, that's another king. Oh, that's a perfect size eating king right there. Perfect eating size. Swing you in the boat. Yes. They only have to be 24 inches. Y'all, so we just got another king mackerel. This one's not nearly the size of the other one that we caught, but they only have to be 24 inches here in Alabama. And no matter how much I love catching the real big ones, these are the best eating size. Calm yourself. So nice king mac. We're gonna throw bleed him out and throw him on ice getting you back out kings are chewing today 
You can see how this shorter, like six to eight foot leader still catches fish, but it's very manageable compared to like a 25 to 30 foot leader. All right. And we'll do the same with the other one and keep on trolling. Track's pulling on this one. I absolutely love mornings like this where the fishing's just turned up and you don't have to do anything very complicated or super strenuous to get them to bite. So we're going to pull this one in, see what it is, what species it's going to be this morning. So there's a planer. Oh, it's a king. It's a nice king too. Yes. It's a really nice one. We got them. Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> Woo! Tail slap. Come here. Come here. Head shaker. Okay, got him now. Got him now. That's a good one. That's my king limit for Alabama. Because those uh, ones that get bit in half still count towards your limit if you land it. <laughs> now, if it gets eaten, you know, and you don't bring back anything, that's different. That's a nice one. Let's show you to the camera up close. Now, that's what I'm talking about right there. Full-size king mackerel. I just limited out of here in Alabama. Unfortunately, the first one I caught, he got bit in half by a barracuda, but he still counts towards the three per person limit. And then the second one was a nice schoolie, but these are incredibly fun to catch. They have some extremely sharp teeth, but those spoons allow you to pull like a lighter leader. I'm pulling 50 pound monofilament leader and able to land toothy critters like this. He's been bleeding out good after that gaff shot. So he's gonna get buried in ice, but how fun is that? Get it in before this cold comes. But heck yeah, that is so cool. Throw them on ice. Hey, so that was a really great morning of fishing. I'm about to head in and get ready to prep and get ready to show you how I like to clean that king mackerel and make some fresh mackerel dip. I can't wait to share with you the cleaning and the cooking portion. I do want to mention, even though I'm in shorts right now and a performance long sleeve, but winter is coming up and I know some of y'all are probably already in some cold weather. And if you're looking for new apparel or if you go hunting or fishing like I do out on the boat, the Mossy Oak store can get you stocked up and you can save 20% off using promo code Bama Saltwater. They'll be linked down below. They are partnered with the channel and you see I'm wearing all their stuff. They make some awesome camo patterns. If you know, you know, Mossy Oak's been around a while. All right, I'll see you back in Orange Beach. buoy and the jetties are right in front of us so that was an easy ride back very nice spread out gulf of mexico well that was an easy trip fun nice weather wasn't too bad out there i'm gonna load this boat up and see all at the house and at the cleaning table hey everyone welcome to the cleaning table just got home and I'm gonna give those other fish away. I froze the bonita for bait for later on. And I'm gonna make fish dip out of this king and this Spanish mackerel. King mackerel have to be 24 inches in the state of Alabama. Spanish mackerel don't have a size limit. This is one of the best eating size king mackerel. If they get real big, they can be full of mercury, everything in moderation to each their own. We're gonna fillet these up nice and easy. Everything's wet from the humidity and fog all night. But I'm gonna take this seven inch sword flex fillet and watch how easy mackerel is. Make a slice, rotate the knife, and go straight down. Make sure you don't miss much meat to the tail. Look at that, that's real pretty meat there. Flip it over, same thing. Make sure you don't penetrate the guts. all the way down boom another fillet this head does make very good fish stock the spanish mackerel are a little bit wider but they have some nice healthy fish oils in them they're great when fresh and for fish dips tacos ceviche so there's our fish it's time to skin them get you something to hold on to and kind of wiggle it back and forth
boom. Not bad, I left a little bit of skin on there. That'll be fine. All you gotta do is trim them out. And we'll do further dressing of it inside, such as all that red meat and the additional skin pieces. But right now, this is just getting the meat separated off the bones. Let's do that on the King Mac. That's a nice piece of King mackerel. Very fresh. Came out of the Gulf just a few hours ago. All right, so we have two king mackerel fillet, two Spanish fillets. We're gonna take these inside, finish dressing them up, and then get ready to poach them and make our fish dip. So we'll see it in the kitchen. Hey everyone, we're in the kitchen and I have my king mackerel and Spanish mackerel, boneless, skinless, and cut into manageable pieces. As you can see, we brought our crab boil to a rolling boil. We're gonna boil these fish, or pretty much poach them, for about four minutes. And this is a very simple and easy fish dip recipe. So it has been four minutes at a boil. I'm gonna kill the heat and then just let it sit here for a few more minutes. You know, you can do five minutes if you want. The longer you let it sit, the more flavor that fish is gonna soak up from the Cajun seasoning. It's a very simple recipe to make, and you can make this out of like redfish, sheep's head, mackerel is really good, some oily fish that makes blue fish, you can do that with as well. But the main flavor for the fish is coming from where you boil it slash poach it. So we boiled those fish in our crab boil for four minutes. Now we took it off the heat, and I'm letting it sit and cool down for an additional 15 minutes. It does two things mainly, allows that fish to get some more of that flavor soaked up, and hopefully it cools down enough that we're able to touch it and shred it. But our ingredients list is simple. Obviously, cream cheese is one of the main ingredients. Have sour cream, extra virgin olive oil, ranch dressing, and these are pickled, crunchy vegetables, an Italian mix. And what I did was pour them out and chopped them up and you can chop them up real fine or leave them a little chunky like that if you like some crunch in yours, which I do. I have chopped up a fresh chili pepper. This is a serrano chili and then fresh green onion. Y'all, we're gonna start mixing our ingredients in the bowl and we're gonna fold the fish in kind of towards near the end. You still want fish pieces in there. You don't want it just completely shredded to where you can't tell the difference what's what. So we have our cream cheese in the bowl. Now the next part is pretty much all to taste. We're gonna take a dollop of sour cream and then Another dollop, take our vegetables. Ooh, I like that. You can do pickled jalapenos as well. It's all personal preference. Take a drizzle of this ranch dressing. Boom, it's about a tablespoon or so. A drizzle of olive oil. Luckily the fish is pretty oily, so just a little bit. I'm gonna mix this up some. Here goes our fresh green chilies. Give it some nice kick and a spice, and then a handful of freshly chopped green onion. Man, that smells good together, really good. So we got our strainer, and I'm just separating the liquid from the fish. Mm, and you could eat the fish just like this. I mean, it tastes delicious poached. But get all that strained out. So we're gonna shred this fish. Wanna eat a piece real quick? Mm. Oh wow. That tasted just like a crab claw. I mean, the flavors and everything, it was delicious. Let's go ahead and start adding our fish into here. We wanna make sure we don't overdo it. We're just gonna fold this in. I love fresh dip. It's really not difficult to make at all. I like this chilled. We're gonna eat it for our lunch tomorrow with our crackers, but I just wanna try a bite first. Let's give it a nice taste. Mm. Perfect. I mean, that is a very delectable fish dip. The spice from that crab boil and that fish mixed together, excellent texture, excellent flavors. Let's cover it up and I'll see you tomorrow. Y'all, it is the next day and we have pulled the dip out of the fridge and check that out. We have some pita chip crackers right next to it. It's delicious, chilled and served with crackers. That's gonna be delicious, check that out. Here we go. Mm. Man, 
phenomenal chilled. It's got a nice kick to it from the crab boil and the fish and also the fresh chili peppers I added in there as well. So very delicious. Y'all go make this on your own. You can use mackerel, sheep's head, any other flaky white fish, but mackerel works great and it has a lot of nice healthy fish oils in it as well. It's good for you. Y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go smash that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. Leave a comment down below of your favorite fish recipe. As always, I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. So we'll see you later. I'm going to take another bite. Mm. So good. Here you go. <laughs> Eat up, y'all. We're gone.